Daycraft. Happy New Year, everyone. How are you celebrating the first day of 2016, huh? So, today I had a lot of inspiration and I wanted to share this experience with you guys. Today, we are going to decorate a village, a whole NPC village. So, let's move on to the first step, which happens to be sidewalks. Yeah, sidewalks. They don't add a lot of detail to the village, but it still looks cool. Look at that. The village without sidewalks would look just boring and normal micro village, you know. I mean, without all of these things that we are going to add to this village, it would look boring. But look at now. It's looking incredible. Look at that. Wow. This, this by the way, is a cleric house. I turned it into a medieval church or something. But anyway, this is the second step of improving your Minecraft village we are going to add more green to it look at that we were just adding some trees and bushes and everything you can you can bone mill the area just to make it look more natural and look at that it's already looking incredible just just take it out look at that I mean now I'm going to put some bone meal and just make it look more natural some flowers are spawning also but anyway this is cool now this is how it looks okay so now let's move on to the third step for the third step i'm going to search for a house look at that where's our house come on come on any houses oh okay our second step pillars always add pillars to your houses they add a very uh, i mean a very important detail they look like they're more stable and this is one of the most important parts to remember in a house if the house looks stable oh my god this music drives me mad i i really hate this microphone but anyway look at that this is an old villager house with just four pillars and uh, just one thing to remember you can raise these pillars up one block from the roof and yeah let's continue I'm going for now I'm going to put just sandstone slabs on on the pillars and yeah this makes this just gives them a little detail and right now I'm going to raise these oak wood by one and beneath them I'm going to put well let's see I don't know maybe stairs maybe actually downstairs maybe like that well, you can put whatever you want let's see first of all let's delete these three fences and put these ones awesome. and those last ones okay so now the pillars are almost ready now we need to add these stairs and whoops I didn't take them well come on least there okay so look at that the house is looking incredible with them and I mean incredible look at that it has more detail and this is what we got this is what we've got till now so you can you've got a best view of the village right here and it's lagging a little bit I'm sorry about that and also another thing to remember some of the villager houses won't have a door so you can always add a door now I'm just adding some cobblestone walls with torches just to give it some light I mean why not and now let's put the door always put the door from the inside out also if you want to make it a more more proof house just put an iron door this is how it looks with an iron door but personally I prefer I just prefer oak wood see that's better Anyway, so now let's let's just leave the house and move on to the third step, which happens to be come on. Well, let's see what happens to be. Oh yeah, fences on these farms. These farms are absolutely terrible without fences. I mean, you will see the difference in a, in a little bit. Well. I prefer oak or acacia wood, you can put whatever you want, but look at that, 
I'm going to make one of them with full wood and another one with acacia wood. So now, let's see how it looks like. Awesome. And let's move on to the next one, which is going to be this on the right side. And I'm going to put acacia wood in that. And look at that. It's looking incredible. I mean, incredible. A hundred percent sure that this is the best wood to put on these farms. So right now this is what we've got till now and let's move on to the third step which is roofs. Look at that. This this is just a Minecraft villager roof, a boring one and as you can see on the house that we left before and again I'm sorry about the lack we I put a much better roof. So right now let's go to the next part which is the interior. This is a cleric and with a little bit of decoration I turned it into an awesome house with chairs and all of that good stuff. Now I'm going to show you a fully decorated house. Oh also, in your houses you can put chimneys and fireplaces and whatever you want but anyway. This is how my house on the village looks. You got anvils, crafting tables, furnaces, whatever you want. You can you can add more than these things but Anyway, this has an also a back door and oh, this used to be a bird bath. So now I'm going to recreate it. You just put a block of a uh, front. No, I mean on top of an anvil. To do that, you just shift and right click, and after that, you put the rail. Then the Minecraft after that, you put. I mean, you break block, and there we go, a bird bath. Oh, also, as you can see, I've installed the brand new texture pack. It's called the Faithful Texture Pack. And yeah, I thought that this would help us. Anyway, now moving on to the next step, and I think it's the last step, is the well. I mean, these wells look terrible in Minecraft. You you can decorate them however you want. I for now I'll just put some cobblestone mm, cobblestone walls and stairs. Let's see. I'm thinking about the cobblestone walls right now. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know, I think they'll look cool. It's up to you, you can do whatever you want. This is not a tutorial, it's a let's build, it's a more inspiring thing. Now, let's continue that with the stairs. And now, let's see, the walls. I'm going to grab my cobblestone walls. Awesome, you can also grab mossy cobblestone walls and put them beneath the fences. Like that, like that, and go to the fourth one. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that wheel. This is looking incredible right now. And oops, I forgot to put some sidewalks on here. But anyway, this doesn't matter. Sidewalks so give us a little or me a little bit of detail. But anyway, this is how our village looks too now. Oh also another good thing to remember is to put a backyard. Always put backyards to your houses. Now the last step of your Minecraft improvement of the village is to add some better lights. I mean, these are okay, but we can always improve them. We can always improve them. So now I'm grabbing cobblestone wall hoppers, anvils, redstone lamps, daylight essentials, and yeah, fences. What else? Glowstone. Okay, so now. Oops, it's raining, I'm sorry, wait a minute, and there we go, okay, so now the weather must become like before, and awesome, now this is how to create a more modern lamp, you just put a hopper to of these walls, and anvil, well, you see what I mean, and if you don't like the hopper on the bottom, you can also put anvil, but I prefer using hoppers. They just they just look more incredible. So now I'm going to show you a more like an old style, an old school um, well light, but it's still cool. It's still cool. I mean, let's see, anvil, cobblestone wall, and fence. I think. Yeah, I'm going to add fences to that. Another of these walls, a hopper, and let's see, a lamp. A redstone lamp with a daylight sensor on top. Now, 
let's go ahead and vote for of these fences well you can also go on a medieval style and put one on top of the other and